Hello everyone, I made this experiment and I thought to share it with all of you. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Jofia DIY. In case you are seeing this channel for the first time, okay, I made this soap, this particular soup here, or all the soap using palm kernel oil, but I used different fillers and some I did not use filler. The first one I made, I made the first one. This is the one on the right, on my right. This particular soap I'm holding now, it's two different soups okay but i used one mode the one i'm pointing at now i made it with pko soda ash and silicate okay why the second one on my left is pko caustic soda soda ash and silicate okay now this one on the right is more is more texture than the one on the left now this is why you add bulking agents and fillers to your soup the one on the right which i made with only pko and caustic soda is just of uh, three quarter of the mold why the one i made it i added soda ash it's almost you know more than half of the mold okay so that ash which is a bulking agent help increase the quantity of your soup like in in some of my laundry bar soup recipe i used same amount of soda ash and caustic soda okay i didn't say you should go and do it because your soap is going to separate that is a way it is measured that is the way it is calculated if you want to use equal parts of caustic soda and soda ash solution okay now let's get to the the third soap now this particular soap here i made it with pko caustic soda and stpp i used stpp as my bulking agent do you get i used stpp as my bulking agent instead of using soda ash i used stpp and the soap came out you know the texture of the soup is it's excellent it's amazing okay now let's get to number four the fourth soup this fourth one i made it with uh pko caustic soda soda ash and and calcium okay now let's get to the fifth soup this fifth soup i made it with pko caustic soda soda ash and kaolin all right but there's something different between these two S um, calcium and kaolin so people they will tell you that they 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 give same color if they don't give same color calcium gives more brown color than kaolin kaolin gives more bright color than calcium you get i don't know let me i don't know let me bring out the camera so that you see this particular one is calcium the color is a bit uh, dim while the curling is brighter so in other words curling brightens soup than calcium so if you want your soup to come out you know uh, brighter maybe to come out to have more white a lot of people prefer their laundry soap coming out white okay there are so many things that will, you have to do to get that pure white you can okay let me not just go into that now okay this particular one is made with palm oil bleached but this bleached palm oil and palm kernel oil okay so people will say that if you want to get achieve a brown color a laundry brown brown laundry soap okay you should bleach your palm oil with chemical I'm telling you that it is a lie. I have experimented it and it is a lie. If you want to achieve that Cameroon or Ghana brown laundry soap, please don't bleach your palm oil with chemical. Except you want to add pigment that, that is color to it. If, if you want to add brown color to your soap to achieve that Cameroon brown soap, okay, you can bleach your palm oil with chemical. But if you want to achieve that natural brown colored soap, don't bleach it with there is a way you bleach your palm oil not even to bleach it go um to be like granola oil there is a way you would teach it see that is a secret i'm sharing in my in my in my training group okay let's get to the next soup this particular soup now i made it with stpp okay okay let me bring these three soups here now okay this is made with kaolin calcium and stpp the one made with kaolin is more brighter okay to compare to the one with, made with calcium it gives more like brown dim color what is stpp soup i don't know there is this section stpp gives to soup okay you can see it i was thinking that it's because of the mode i use but i don't think stpp gives this kind of this, this texture it gives to soup can you see it okay now let me weigh 
these three soups for us to know because there was um should i call it a controversial argument about um stpp and you know giving volume weight to soup now let's weigh it this particular one is kerlin kerlin gives 57 57 gram why calcium gives 858 gram okay now let's see stpp stpp weighs 43 grams can you see that stpp does not come closer to you know when it comes to adding weight to your bar soup the one that adds weight more to your bar soup is calcium that is why i encourage a calcium as as um as a filler in soup making you can also use curling curling is close okay can you see curling gives 57 grams while calcium gives 58 grams and stpp gives 43 grams okay this soup they are all made with pk oxy soda soda ash and and fillers so i now make i made another soup i made this one this particular one using calcium i use pko caustic soda soda ash calcium sulfate and stpp okay i added i used three fillers calcium sulfate and stpp i didn't add kerlin to this one and the weight it gave me 61 grams i used same amount of oil same amount of the uh, same quantity of caustic soda and same quantity of soda ash but in the filler i used calcium sulfate and stpp and it gave me 61 grams okay the one made with only kerlin gave me 57 gram the one made with only calcium gave me 58 grams but this one i i i add i use three fillers gave me 61 gram now i'm going to cut through this so for you to see this one is calcium is strong but um dull in color the second one is kaolin is also strong but brighter then the one made with stpp sulfate and calcium it's more brighter and more textured than all of them okay in other words sulfate also um increase the brightness of your soup That is why when you go to the market, you see different shades of off-color soup because they are, they, are, they are made with different fillers. And in our soap making class, we teach you how to use your choice of fillers in the right percentage and how to calculate your own soup formula, how to create your own soap formula using your oil, your caustic soda, soda ash, your filler and working agent. We will teach you how to calculate that if you don't want to go or work with our own created recipe. Alright, thank you all for staying with me. See you all in the next tutorial video. Bye.